Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Interplanetary Seminar. We haven't met for a few million years. How's everybody been? Pretty good. Remember how I told you in our last meeting that humans had advanced to the Stone Age? Yeah. They're growing up so fast. They've already been to the moon, and right before I left for this meeting, they got a new rover onto you, Mars. Yeah, about that Earth. You keep putting stuff on me. It's really itchy. That's because you never answer my question. Do you have life on you? Did you ever have life on you? I'm not going to tell you, Earth. All your little humans would move to me after they finished destroying you. What do you mean? Humans love me. They would never destroy me. Go ahead and think that, Earth. Does anyone else have anything to say? Yeah. Yes, I have a big red spot. I don't know what to do. It's right here, above my- Ew, Jupiter, don't show us that. Go see a doctor. Saturn, you wanted to tell us something? Saturn, you're getting married? Uh, no, I just wanted to show you my ring. Oh. If that's all, we have some business to attend to. Unfortunately, due to newfound research, we will have to do some downsizing on who is actually part of our solar system. What do you mean? Unfortunately, Pluto, you no longer meet our qualifications and are considered a dwarf planet. What? He's saying you're too small, so get out. Jupiter, that wasn't very nice, but yeah, that's basically what I meant. Pluto, please leave. It looks like you're the farthest real planet from me now. Sweet! You're not Neptune, you're Uranus. Ha ha ha! What? Oh. We always try to get him to say my name. <sighs> anyway, is there any more business? Oh yeah! There might be another planet in our solar system. Really? I'm gonna tell all the humans on me! I said there might be another planet. It's not confirmed yet. Didn't you know who all the planets are? And anyway, it's too late. I've already told all the humans that there's a tenth planet. Er, uh, ninth planet. Again. Great. The only reason I don't know for sure if he exists is because he's not getting my texts. I keep inviting him to these meetings, but he's just not getting them. Son, I think he's getting the texts, but he's just making the conscious choice to ignore them. I would do the same thing if it wasn't for the snacks we'd get after the meeting. Whose turn was it to bring the snacks, anyway? It was Pluto's turn, but hold on. It was Pluto's turn? Dang it, son, why'd you kick him out? <sighs> Jupiter, there are more important things than snacks, like... Oh yeah, it's time for the Interplanetary Seminar Rewards! Oh yay! Okay, the winner for the Biggest Planet Award is... Jupiter! Yay! Big shocker. The winner of the Smallest Planet Award is Pl... Oh yeah, Pluto's not a planet anymore. Is Mercury! Yay, I won something! The winner of the Hottest Planet Award is... Am I gonna win two things? Venus! What? But I'm the closest planet to the sun! I knew it! I knew it all along! I'm obviously the hottest planet. I'm literally on fire! The winner of the Coldest Planet Award is... Neptune! Yay! Uranus, stop pretending to be Neptune... Dang it, I did it again! Yes! <laughs> now, this next award is for the planet with the most moons. Now, last time, Earth won this award because, well, they'd only discovered one moon, and it was Earth's moon. But this time, there are more moons that have been discovered, so the winner is Saturn, with 82 moons. Good job, Saturn. Yay! Wait, we should be tied. I have 79 moons. That's close enough. Oh, come on, Jupiter, don't be a sore loser. You already have your own award. <laughs> and that concludes our meeting. Our next meeting is on February 21st, 2,000,021. Save the date. Uh, guys, what happened to Earth? I warned him about those humans. Am I filming? If I'm filming, then... Yep, okay, I'm filming. Of course I'm filming.